Amyloidosis is the name for a group of rare diseases in which abnormal proteins misfold, leading them to aggregate and deposit in tissues and organs where they cause damage. Proteins are molecules that are essential for the structure and functioning of all living organisms. Our body produces many thousands of different proteins. Each has a specific role and is made according to the genetic instructions carried within our DNA. Once made, the protein folds into a particular shape, allowing it to work properly and interact with other molecules. Sometimes, proteins misfold and don't function properly, but normally our body is very good at getting rid of them before they cause any problems. Problems can occur if, for example, the removal mechanism isn't working properly or if more misfolded proteins are made than our body can handle. Amyloidosis occurs when misfolded proteins aren't removed in the normal way. Instead, they accumulate and stick together to form long, rigid fibrils that deposit in various tissues and organs. These deposits are called amyloid and, over time, start to cause damage. More than 30 different proteins are known to misfold and form amyloid, meaning that over 30 different types of amyloidosis exist. Some proteins misfold because of a faulty gene we inherit from one of our parents, whereas others misfold because of factors we acquire during the course of our lives or as a result of aging. Regardless of the type, once formed, amyloid is insoluble and difficult to break down. As it builds up, it stops the affected organs from working properly. Symptoms vary depending on which organs are involved. The most common include the heart, kidneys, liver, spleen, nervous system and digestive system. But this varies according to the type of amyloidosis and also differs between patients who have the same type. There is currently no cure for amyloidosis, but treatment options are available for the most common types and novel treatments are being investigated, including ways to stop misfolded proteins being made and ways to stabilize proteins to prevent them from misfolding. The aim is to stop disease progression, restore organ function and improve quality of life for patients.